Hello everyone. Today I thought I would talk about the um, IP cameras that I've set up with the Raspberry Pi. Uh, there's two here. Um, I've set up and I've actually got just pan and tilt kit assemblies with two servos and the Raspberry Pi camera module and I've got double sided sticky tape on the back side of the camera module just so that it doesn't touch the metal um, and then I've got those two screws on the front to hold the camera module on um, the kit assembly comes with two servos and is what I've done is I've actually cut at the top of the Raspberry Pi case and I've hot glued the, the, ser the bottom servo into the case into the top of the case um, which seems to work out pretty well actually so I just cut a hole uh, for the servo and I set it down in there and I actually actually glued the side so here's a here's a, an example of a servo um, <clears throat> I'm using RPI camera control which is not provided by me it's actually I'll give you the link to their website it seems to work out better than other surveillance software that I've tried uh, it's less memory intensive and and the Pi seems to run a lot better on it so is what I did was I added functionality to what was already created so I added the pat, pan and tilt gliders uh, to the RPI cam control and is what I've done is I've actually uh, wired high volts uh, to the uh, wired to the servos so I've wired the GPIO pins directly to the servos um, could have been done better yes but this is extremely cheap and, and it just seems to work really well so I'll show you a, a, an example of the cameras moving. So I'll move the one on the right and just show you an example of how fast it moves. And I'm doing uh, PWM or pulse width, pulse width modulation to the servo with wiring pi and uh, some simple Python scripts that I'm calling from Apache that are in uh, the CGI bin location so yeah so there you go these cameras they don't perform that well um, but it's high enough resolution to where if you wanted to monitor a room or an office or something like that you could do it um, the servos are not silent by any means so they're, they are kinda loud um, but I thought that this would be a good example, uh, something simple to set up. As these go down in price, uh, between the Raspberry Pi B and the and the, and the cases, uh, they're go they're really getting down there. So twenty dollars for the Raspberry Pi, you can get an SD card extremely cheap nowadays. These assemblies are less than fifty dollars. Uh, you can you can make it happen for a lot less than that. And you don't necessarily have to have the case. You could make your own assembly or something like that, or three D print them. Or I just thought I would show how they're built. So. From here, uh, I'll take you to the screen and I'll, I'll show you an example of what the software looks like and how to install it. Okay, so we're at the interface now and I put a picture down just so you could see the clarity of the image. Um, I, I have RPI cam control installed and it's version 4.2.3 now um, the newer version may be out by now so um, we're gonna pull it down from the repo anyway so it should be up to date uh, this Raspberry Pi has been updated all the way it's set to high for the uh, overclock setting um, and I left a little gap for this servo so that it could breathe a little bit inside that case because I do have the servo down pretty low and closer to the processor so um, the installation is the for the most part the installation except for this top table right here. This top table is my code that I've added, and it it just literally it just tilts. You could tilt and pan by moving these sliders, and it'll, it takes it a minute, but it'll tilt. So there it goes, <clears throat> and then um, and then the pan, and it's that's wired directly to the GPIOs. But um, this is the uh, RPI web interface. And to the, follow these ins, these set of instructions right here, and it will do the installation. And you should be up to up to date with all these settings, and then and should be able to do the installation straightforward. 
Um, the two custom settings for the pan and tilt assembly, one is uh, pan tilt dot py and that's inside um, user lib cgi bin um, and the other one is the actual on the web page itself which is index.php i've added um, if you um, view source so the two sections i've added uh, one is this um, this script here uh, this script and it'll be provided in the uh, in the uh, details below so on uh, the description so well you'll have this uh, that I will operate in CGI bin uh, pan tilt .py. Um, and also after that you'll see the top of the table I've added a a, uh, a table row so in HTML I've added a table row and I've called it camera movement so there's the camera movement uh, ta table data and then here you'll see the tilt slider and then um, or the tilt camera tilt slider um, Python that's initiated when this is uh, tilt back and forth. So I will also provide these two sections as well. Um, if anybody has any questions uh, for the way I've modified this interface or what certain settings do, um, look at these settings below. There's a lot of great documentation that's, that's already been put out. If you've never installed wiring pi for the GPL uh, headers for uh, pulse width modulation, then um, that's something else. Uh, you can go to WiringPi's uh, website and check that out. Um, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe. Um, leave a like or a comment below. And have a good day.